Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about transaction code FB08 and FBR. And to understand this, you must have some idea about open item management, like account which has the open item management uh, feature. For this, you have to use FBRA to reverse the entry. And for the normal FIA documents, uh, you can use FB08. So. Open item management accounts we use for certain reasons. It is uh, it is good to know that I mean which invoices are paid or which uh, line items have been paid and which are outstanding. Like uh, if we receive six invoices of uh, or one vendor, and the total like there is three hundred plus four hundred plus one hundred and something like this, and the total in at the end of a month is thousand dollar and when you are making you are making payment seven hundred dollar in that month so there's two way you can make the payment in conventional software accounting we just make the payment of seven hundred dollar and the net balance is three hundred dollar so this three hundred will be carried forward to the next month but in the new software you can uh, select the line item that which invoices you are making payment for the seven hundred dollars and which are the remaining one so this is the concept of uh, open item management that account which has the open item you have to select the specific line item and so first we will make an one account open item account account which has open item management now for example it will be a one two four double oh three we first record one expense entry in uh, gl you can enter it uh, in even a in vendor in customer for simplicity we are using the NGO FB50 and after that I will show you the report you can have the idea that how it looks like open item management and one identification is that it has with the green dot so when it is open means that it is available for the payment it comes it shows with the green dot uh, sorry with the red dot and when you make the payment you allocate the payment it becomes zero and to clear the payment we use f-04 and after the, and that exercise we reverse this document so any document which has uh, open item management uh, ticked we use fbra to reverse this document it has two function when we use this fbra uh, it gives two options like you want to reset it or reset and reverse it reset mean that it will only unallocate the payment and that's it but the other option is that you unallocate it and reverse as well and uh, this is for the doc uh, accounts which has the open item management you cannot use this fb08 for account which has open item management. you have to use this but uh, there's another way that like in FBRA first we select uh, I will show you when we are doing but uh, just for give you the idea that we uh, when we run this FBRA we select the first option resetting so reset mean that it unallocate the payment when it unallocate the payment that n now they are not uh, cleared with each other so at that time we can use FB08 as well so this is another way you can use this but uh, if you want to reset and reverse it you can use this FBRA and the second option so let's start with our example first we make an account uh, this is our account we have to make this account go to fs00 we have to make this account it doesn't exist so we copy with, uh, with the previous one the DW. so we copied it and see this open item address. it should be ticked so we ticked it Save it. Now enter the transaction in FP50. So we can enter this 
register it. Account we are using expense account is yes four one one zero two and uh, this will have a credit account. So debit account is four one one zero one zero debit with two hundred dollars credit with open item management account. Save it. A document number is 156. Just for the reference, we can use it. 156. Now, FBL 3N, we run this selection. FBL 3N. Account is already there. So, red means that it is unallocated as it is unopened. Uh, yeah, as it is uh, open item management account so this one is available for the payment or unallocated invoice or payment so next step is that we clear the payment for this for this we use app-04 document number no this is just for the reference so we are making the payment so we have to select bank account in our case the bank account is 218200 218200 amount is 200 and validate it also choose the opener item so for this we have to tell the account which from which account you, you want to make the payment or make the allocation so in our case it's uh, 12 4003 12 4003 and it's a GL account so S should be selected it is selected already so process open account it will show 200 200 is assigned you will save it new document 157 is generated 157 is generated now we run the GL account to show you how it looks like now so if we select open item uh, there should not be any entry because now it is allocated so see if you want to see the activity you have to select all items then run it now it uh, converted into green means that it is allocated and paid so this is you make the entry you clear the entry now you have to reverse the entry so there are two ways to reverse as i told you fb08 for the accounts which are not open item you use this transaction as green shows that the these are already allocated so you cannot use it if you want to use it you have first have to unallocate them then you have to reverse it so there's two ways so first you have to unallocate then use fb08 so how to unallocate so in this fbra you can uh, you have the option you first you can unallocate this thing and reverse it in the same t code you have two options first unallocate and reverse it and if we go only with the unallocate that first option in fbra we first unallocate this amount means that after that we can use fb08 because for fb08 uh, our restriction was that it should not be allocated so once it is unallocated we can use fb08 so fbra provides two options first is unallocate and second option is unallocate and reverse so we can see how it works so first we use this just to show you that it will not the system will not allow us to do this 
So document number, we have the document number. This is the document number. We use this. Anniversary reason is three. Means that on the same date, and on the same month, you will reverse it. Reverse on the opposite side, same payment. So, so it will give you the error. It will not allow you. So for this, you have to use FBRA slash N FBRA. Document number number is one fifty seven. Automatically, it came. It will show you the transactions. Fifty six fifty. Just for the information, go ahead. You just save it. So see, these are the two options coming, which I told you. Only resetting, only only resetting means that that it will make it unallocated. Transaction will be there in the ledger, but it is unallocated with the red dot. But if you select the second option, resetting and reverse, it means that it and the system will first unallocate and uh, at the same time it will reverse it as well. So there are two ways. So just for the better understanding, we use only reset. So it means that we just uh, unallocate this thing. We then see in the ledger. After that, we use this FB08. Although FB08 for the reverse. So although we can reverse it from here. But uh, to better understand, we just do this only resetting. Resetting is done. 157 is reset. 167 is reset means that it is unallocated. So see now it uh, it comes with the red dot means that it is unallocated. Now we can use this FB08. See there is no reversal is coming here. So after reversing it, reversal will come. Slash and document number is this. The reason can be any. One fifty eight was posted. See, one fifty is posted now. So open item is this 200 means that you have to make payment for this and this one is uh, reversed and reversed and allocated with each other the transaction 57 and 58 is allocated with each other means that it is reversed and this again uh, appears as an unpaid invoice so unallocated invoice you can say that so this is how it works I hope this will give you some idea how uh, how open item accounts are reverse fb08 or fbra if you like this uh, video please like uh, subscribe my channel and uh, if you need any other scenario to you want me to make a video for this please uh, mention in the comment box thank you